Over 1.8 million years ago, the North American continent was home to one of the most formidable avian species that ever lived. This colossal terror bird changed our perception of forest racids and was a serious force in its ecosystem. This was Titanus wallery. Titanus possessed distinctive physical characteristics. It stood at a height of 4.6 to 6.1 feet and weighed around 440 pounds. Its skull was notable for its large size, featuring a tall, long, and laterally compressed hooked beak. The spinal column was partially known, with flexible necks and more rigid dorsal, sacral, and caudal vertebrae. The skull is known from many areas providing a relatively good understanding of the structure and sexual dimorphism was suggested based on observations made within the fossils. Titanus had a heavily built body, characterized by an elongated thin tarsometatarsus, which is the lowest of the three long bones of the bird leg, that was about half the length of the tibia tarsus. Although it had small wings, unsuited for flight, they were stronger than those of living retites. Additionally, wings exhibited an unusual joint-like structure, allowing some flexibility in the digits. While the wrist was relatively rigid and would not have allowed the wing to fold like most modern birds, leading many to theorize the wing held a claw. Additionally, the quill knobs on the ulni referred from close relatives suggest the presence of large feathers, although their purpose remains unknown. Estimates regarding the speed of forest racids are rough. While a related large species, Kellenkin, was estimated to reach speeds of up to 65 miles per hour, Titanus, with its heavier build, would likely have been slightly slower. However, a speed of around 50 miles per hour is not out of the realm of possibility, although this would have been considered quite fast for Titanus. Like other terror birds, Titanus is thought to have swung its head down to kill its prey. Its axe-like beak was designed quite well for this motion. Studies on the stress patterns of terror bird skulls indicate that they could handle much more force in a pulling motion as well as a being swung down than it could in lateral motion. This method of feeding, along with other anatomical features like stiff spine and joint elements, indicates that they would avoid struggling with their prey, which would induce more lateral stress on their skull. How exactly they would have taken their prey is unknown, although the mentioned skeletal features indicate a pursuit predator, not an ambush hunter. It is possible they could hunt larger prey, however this would require group behavior, depending on the extent of the size discrepancy, but it is currently unknown if they practiced this. Within the Blanken age strata of Florida, where Titanus fossils have been discovered, there is evidence of a rich diversity of fauna. These include many currently living species, as well as many extinct. The extinct megafauna includes the Gomphothere, Rhynchotherium, the American Mastodon, grazing equids, tapirs, various artiodactyls including peccaries, camelids like Hemiokinia, and the pronghorn relative Capromeryx, armadillos like Homsina, and the giant glyptodont Glyptotherium. Ground sloths played a significant role, like the enormous Arimotherium, Megalonyx, and the medium-sized Paramylodon, as well as large capybaras. Carnivores included the unusual bone-crushing dog relative Barophagus, the running hyena Casmoporthetes, as well as the saber-toothed cats Xenosmilus and Smilodon gracilis. There have also been many reptilian species discovered, including iguanas, box turtles, giant tortoises, and snakes. Extant mammalian fauna included white-tailed deer, American porcupine, and extant armadillos. The avifauna of the period was extensively preserved, with thousands of known fossils. Birds of prey were represented by falcons, hawks, eagles, and owls. Many additional bird groups were present, including loons, herons, and ibis species, as well as vultures, pigeons, woodpeckers, and turkeys. What of these animals Titanus hunted would depend on its chosen hunting strategy, but like most predators it would have been able to prey on a wide variety of prey, in a wide variety of environments. How they pursued these of course as previously mentioned would alter their prey, with group behavior being necessary for some larger megafauna. If they did live or congregate in groups, this would have implications on their reproductive strategy. The reproductive habits of forest racids are unknown, but their unique morphology and ecology makes it an interesting topic. It's most likely they had reproductive habits similar to modern birds of prey, 
where a pair build a nest and hatch out a small number of chicks. This nest, however, would of course be on the ground. Being on the ground, their chicks would be more vulnerable than a modern bird of prey. This makes it more likely they would be precocial, meaning they are relatively physically able from hatching. The living animals best known for this are the galliforms, chickens, and their relatives like pheasants and turkeys. These birds, however, live in groups, and it's not known if Titanus did. In these species, the hens either go off on their own to nest and then return to the flock when they are done brooding, or brood communally. It's also possible Titanus built vegetation mound like modern bush turkeys. What the parental care would look like beyond this point, though, is just as unknown. Why exactly Titanus went extinct is not known. It used to be thought that terror birds went extinct due to competition from mammalian carnivores like cats and canines, but Titanus and its ancestors migrated into North America from South America and were successful for millions of years, in competition with mammals. In addition, the date of its extinction is unknown, which makes it difficult to determine if environmental factors can be blamed, leaving its extinction a mystery. This was a fascinating creature which changed our perception of forest racids and presented a lifestyle like none we have today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Have a good day, everyone.